Hello YouTube, and thank you for tuning in to yet another Hanging With Heavy video. Hey, today we're going to continue on with our, our video training, our welding training on blueprint reading. And now I know if you're, if you're building your power hammer, you're looking at those blueprints and you're going to go, you know, what, is, what about this? So hopefully this is going to help you. And then, you know, you young guys that are starting out, you know your boss is already paying attention. He knows what's going on. So hang with Have as we continue on with blueprint reading for welders. And today's lesson is dimensions. All right, YouTube, let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got drawn up here for you. And if, and if you've been following along and you're looking at this print, you're saying to yourself, well, I know what that is. You know, that's just two pieces of metal stacked on top of each other with a hole in it. And that's exactly what it is. So let's take a look here. Number one, this would be a location dimension. It might say two inches here, which means that the top piece of material is to be two inches from this edge. This is also a location dimension. It may say here six inches to this point and not even have a dimension here. Now then, this part of it though is a size dimension. And you'll notice that it says six inch whole numbers. So across here, we have a six inch. And what I wanna to talk to you about is that dimensions can appear as whole numbers, as fractions, um, as decibels, or even degrees. So while we're talking about this one here, I'm gonna go along and show you this six inch would be a whole number type. Now, can we go over here and take a look at this one here? Let's take a look. This one here would be a location dimension. This center line, which I know you probably can't see it on my video, but this center line here is the location for this right here. And notice that this location dimension here, it's telling you the distance between the two holes. Now, its size would be in a fraction possibly. However, if you ever see a drilled hole, you're gonna notice that it is backed up with a decimal equivalent um, usually. The reason being is because it will, um, drill bits come in fractional dimensions. So, you know, this is probably a little more accurate than uh, what you're normally gonna find. So, just by taking a look at this little illustration here, you can see that we're gonna have location dimensions, size dimensions, location, size, and then we talk about drill, and that's going to be usually in a decimal equivalent. All right, let's take a look down here at some of these other information I have for you, fractions and things of that nature. I know you guys all studied this stuff in high school, but now you're out on the job and you're seeing where it actually applies, and that's important. So let's take a look here. So let's take a look at fractions here. 1 32nd, 1 16th, 1 8th, and 1 quarter. Now these are very typical fractions. As a welder, you may notice that eighth inch electrode or 332nd electrode or bare filler wire. You may notice that we're gonna be using one quarter inch to show a gap a lot of times. We might show one eighth of an inch as being a landing on some of our welding procedure specifications. So when you go over your welding procedure specifications, look and see what the decimal or what the fractional measurements are and make sure you set up your weld joints to meet the welding procedure specification using these fractional dimensions. Now next we're going to take a look at some decimals. All right guys let's take a look here at our decimals and uh, see how that goes. Now decimals are precision sizes. They're going to be used whenever you have to be right dead on the money especially when it comes to drilled holes. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the right size drill bit. If it says one quarter inch, you can almost bet your life that's gonna be a 0.25 um, drill bit. If it says half inch, it's probably gonna say 0 0.500. Now, let's take a look at this one here. Here we have combined whole numbers with fractional. All these should come naturally to you. This you should recognize automatically as one half inch. This you should recognize automatically as three quarters of an inch. This you should automatically recognize as one quarter of an inch. So we've combined 
whole numbers, 1.750, 6.25. Now the only thing missing here is that I don't have the inch indicators up here, which you probably would see on the print. Now, last but not least, I want to talk to you about angular dimensions because that's going to be very important to you as a welder when it comes to setting up parts. All right, the very next one we're going to take a look at in our angular lines is just very, very, very simple, and that's an angular line to a vertical line. So this angular line to this vertical line here. And you'll notice that it has been dimensioned in degrees, 30 degrees. Now, in the welding industry, 22 and a half, 33 and a third, these are all very popular um, degree measurements that we'll find. And here, you may, you may find this any given number of places where they want to weld over top. And if you've been following um, hanging with heavy uh, welding symbols, you're going to know exactly what to do, that, to do with that. Now, let's take the next one here. The one I'm going to show you next is going to be an angular line to a horizontal line. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. All right, let's take a look at this one here. An angular line to a horizontal line. Now, what have I done here? I've shown you another little symbol here. This is angle. You're going to write, like, from material. You need two by two angle. You can always use this little symbol, like shorthand for welders. So, angular line to a horizontal line. Notice that this line is horizontal. And this line is the angular line at 30 degrees. And it's going to be 30 degrees from here to here. Very popular out in the welding industry as a weld joint. Now let's take a look at the next one here though. An included angle. All right. An angular line to another angular line. Let's take a look and see what that's all about. Okay, so our last one we're going to talk about today is an included angle. If you happen to see this up here and it says 60 degrees, it does not mean that you bevel this at 60 degrees either side. What it means is you bevel each side to 30 degrees for an included angle of 60 degrees. So, an included angle, notice once again I use my little angle symbol, an angular line to another angular line. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, that's why that wraps up our little lesson here on dimensions for this part of it anyhow. The purpose of these dimensions, though, they, they, they have two very important functions on your print. Number one, they're going to give you the size needed to locate the part, and um, also they're going to be um, give you the size for the materials that you need to fabricate the part. So not only is it going to show you locations, but it's also going to show you sizes. Keep in mind that we talked about fractional, decimal, and degree dimensions today. And every time we see a degree dimension, we want to put a little circle up there for it so that that covers us on that part of it. Now, next one we're going to be talking about is chamfer and bevels. So I want you to hang with Hebe as we discuss chamfers and bevels in our next video. Well, YouTube, that wraps up our fourth video on Blueprint Reading for Welders, and I've got some more coming, don't get me wrong. We're going to be talking about chamfers and bevels and things of that nature on our next video. So, you know, oh, I know, I know, you're asking, have hey, what happened to that sumptuous goat you had? Well, you know, fall's coming on, I like to hunt, maybe I figured that might be mistaken for a white-tailed deer, but hey, I'm going to get shot, so anyhow, I'll cut it down, but I kept this wonderful mustache as you can see. Now, some of you ask me, Have how come it was so long between this video and, and their last video? Well, I had to have some serious back work done and um, now that I've got it done, I feel really good and I'm right back at you. So, you know what I want you to do, right? <laughs> I want you to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, and when you do that, go over there to that little alert button Hit it, hit the bell, hit the ringer, and every time I come out with a video, it's going to show up for you on um, your page, and you'll be able to flip right to it. And I want to address one other thing here. Some people have been asking me, Have I, how come you never show us how to weld? Well, I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of guys out there doing, it out, doing that already, 
And if you ever tune into uh, tipsandtricks.com, that's the man you want to watch. He is really good and um, he can definitely show you how to apply the most high quality well deposit. So until next time, YouTube, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you out in the shop.